We first knew that something was wrong during my 15 week ultrasound scan. It made me feel very devastated. They had mentioned very first time that they had seen something like this, that it might be vascular malformation. She looked extremely different from what we had actually expected from what the ultrasound and all of the other doctors were saying, she looked drastically different. We named her Baby Hulk after a situation between two twins at a store that we had. She was sitting on my lap and two little boys come up and asked what was wrong with her and we told them that there's nothing wrong with her. Her daddy was the Hulk. So at that point, we decided that she was the Hulk, the Baby Hulk. Our treatment as parents has helped dramatically improve her well-being. I had a doctor tell me that if it weren't for what me and my husband were doing, that she wouldn't be here. So when she was first born, she had zero range of motion. I stayed in the NICU almost round time, time in and out, day and night. And uh, I worked on her range of motion from that point on and about six weeks later, she had full range of motion. People react differently to Madison depending on what their age is. Elderly people, they, they have sympathetic, you know, points of views on, on how, how bad they feel about her and us. And then a younger crowd um, about my husband and my age, uh, they are a little more cruel and kids are blunt. So, you know, I don't mind as much as the kids being blunt, but if you're old enough to know better, you know, ask, hey, what does your daughter have? Or, you know, I'm sorry to ask, but what is her condition instead of what's wrong with her? That's the most rude question ever. I use that opportunity for them to ask that question as a learning uh, tool. I wanna make sure that everybody knows that Clove syndrome exists. I treat Madison as if she's a normal child with normal stuff, as, as you see. <laughs>